Mavis, the diesel engine, lives and works at the quarry. She's a hard worker and spends her days busily shunting the trucks full of stone into their proper sidings. Sometimes, she is even allowed to bring trucks down to the top station. Mavis likes this best of all, as she finds the quarry quite confining. She is, however, still quite young, and can sometimes get carried away. One morning, she had brought some trucks down the line, and was refueling at the station. Toby was idling nearby. It is nice coming down the line sometimes, smiled Mavis gaily. I'm glad manager allowed me. It is nice to see you out in the open, agreed Toby cheerfully. You know, Mavis went on, I'd like to move on from the quarry one day. It gets ever so dull up there. I could be much more useful down here instead. Toby smirked. He knew what Mavis was like. Oh, really? I don't think your manager would like that. Who would shunt the trucks for me? Mavis huffed. You can jolly well shunt them yourself. I'm bored of that silly place. I should be allowed to work elsewhere. She flounced away without another word. Toby watched her go, chuckling quietly to himself as she did. Toby wasn't the only one who had watched Mavis that day. A cow had broken free of her field earlier in the day. He had wandered down towards the line after she saw Mavis rattle past with her trucks. Standing on the track bed, the cow found plenty of nice grassy patches to eat. Now for lunch, she thought to herself, as she happily set about chomping. Mavis was still grumbling as she headed back up the tramway. Not fair, not fair, she muttered. Daft old Toby, rotten old quarry. Her thoughts were quickly interrupted when she saw what was up ahead. Brakes, driver, she called as she slowed. But the trucks had other ideas. They were tired of Mavis's grumbling and wanted to have some fun. On, 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 they chanted stupidly as they surged forwards. Mavis was surprised, but she was also wiser to the trucks. With skillful braking, she controlled the truck's speed, but not quite well enough. She stopped just too late. Her cow catchers bumped into the startled cow, nudging it forwards. Silly thing, cried Mavis. Get a move on you. She gave a loud blast of her horn to drive the point home. The cow was surprised and hurried forward, but to Mavis' dismay, stayed between the rails. What a nuisance, fussed Mavis with another honk. We'll have to shoo it along the line, I suppose, called the driver. Mavis thought so too. And so, inching carefully along, with regular soundings of a horn, she set off, shooing the cow along the line. At last they spotted the broken fence and Father Desmond nearby. He had heard Mavis's horn and came to see what the matter was. Oh, there she is, he cried happily. Oh, thank you, Mavis. What a kindness. I'm indebted to you. Mavis couldn't help but blush at that. Could make a farmer out of you, we could, added the farmer with a laugh. Unfortunately, we've a quarry to get back to, replied the driver. So with one last two of a horn, Mavis set off again. Later that day, Toby arrived at the quarry. I hear you helped our farmer, he said. Yes, indeed, said Mavis proudly. I told you I could be useful elsewhere. You really will be moving on, won't you? winked Toby. Although not very far from home, it seems. Mavis pretended she hadn't heard and scuttled away to fetch Toby's trucks.